In this video, we're going to take a look at the pros and cons of two manufacturing methods, the additive 3D printing and the destructive CNC routing. I want to compare the steps and create the same design in both manufacturing methods. But first, take a moment just to like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks. So what we're making is a dog tag for this little fella. He's my grandson. First things first, I already modeled the sh basic shape that I wanted to use and created that in Fusion. Then I'm creating the toolpath ready to cut it on the CNC. Because it's only small, what I'm going to do is create the inner shape all with the V bit. I'm using a 30 degree angle. A v bit to do the engraving to, to leave the raised up text and to cut the hole and uh, just to sink in the pieces around uh, the text. I like to switch the tool holder off just so that I can see the shaft of the cutter and watch the tool path, make sure it looks sensible. Then I can move on to the next phase. I like to keep an eye on the thing to make sure that it looks like it's doing a job that's you know it's not going to do anything that's crazy it's not going to cut pieces out that we don't want to be cut out so i let it go through a relatively slow pace just keep an eye on it and let it run through the entire cut Once all the engraving's done, then I have to put the toolpath together to cut the outside. I'm going to use a couple of um, tabs around the outside so that the piece doesn't fly off, but it, I'll let it cut the outside shape out. I'll switch cutters and use a 1 8 end mill and just run around in two passes, uh, cut through the thickness of the wood and leave the, the piece ready just to push out of the wood. set all my speeds and feeds based on what I'm cutting if it's, if it's just uh, an eighth end mill I'm only going in a couple of millimeters deep and I'll crank it up so it goes through fairly fast uh, it'll still cut uh, tabs and leave those in situ but I'll just have it spin around the outside and make that shape as you can see I decided to go with three tabs on this circular um, tag so as far as the dog tag is concerned, it'll just three tabs will be enough just to hold it still until I cut it loose. Once the toolpaths are complete, just send it out with the post processor. We'll have the G-code ready to upload uh, to the CNC. Now back into the design space and then very quickly we can just go to the body and save that as an STL and then that'll be ready to take into Cura so that we can do the 3D printing. Once we're in Cura, it's just a matter of loading up the model, the STL, and laying it flat on the bed, and then checking to see that we have all the PLA settings. I have my default already, so there's not very much to do. Um, just slice the model, and then we can pretty much um, save that model, that slice, and use Octoprint to load that onto the 3D printer of choice. I'm going to print this out first before I put it on the CNC. I'm going to use Amelia, which is one of my TiVo Tornadoes. 
I'm going to put it on there and just print it out, see what it looks like, get an idea of the size, the feel, and all that good stuff. We'll see how that turns out. Then I'm going to load the file onto the CNC. So again, it's OptiPrint, but this time it's the MPCNC, if you notice at the top. The red one is the CNC, the green one is Amelia, and I have a blue one that's Carlos. So those are my three OctaPrint instances that I use um, for doing any G code. So here's the 3D printed one to start with. For those of you who are paying attention, you can probably see I had to change the shape of the tag for it to work. The round one printed with no problem on the 3D printer, but on the router, the letters were too small and they would just break off as I was machining them. So I couldn't get a successful round one. I maybe could have done that if I'd have slowed the speed and feed way down, but I didn't want to do that. I want to keep it um, something I could do fairly quickly. So I changed the shape, went back into Fusion, changed the shape, redid it, reprinted it, and here's the results. Just briefly then, the things to consider for CNC machining. CNC requires more preparation. You have to think about your machining strategies. You have to think about how you're going to clamp the part, the machinability of the part, and the tabs on the final part to hold it down. Then for 3D printing, you have to think about how easy it is to create the STL, the extra steps you've got to take with Cura, the part adhesion to the bed, finishing options, and the printing strategies for supports, etc. I hope you enjoyed this video. That's about all I've got for you for now. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.